We are kicking off the As Like Dying discography review with their 2001 release entitled Beneath the Encased in the Bashes, which is also featured on the 2006 compilation A Long March, the first recordings, because the first album was sold for a high price on eBay, 90 bucks from what I researched. So As Like Dying decided to put this album on a compilation. So I'm going to review the songs that are off of the compilation, Long March, the first recordings. So let's get started. Starts out with the title track. However, on the CD that I have, it starts out with the guitar riffs, drums, and Tim Lambus's screams. However, if you're lucky to pick up a copy of the first album, Beneath the Case of Ashes, note that Beneath the Case of Ashes, the title track on the first album that was released in 2001, it starts out with spoken word. So, but on the CD that I have, the compilation, it just starts out with the guitar riffs. And there's a re-recording of this song on the Decus album, which also features a part of the track Force to Die, the intro to it. So just want to let you guys know that. The next song after the title track is entitled Torn Within. This is another catchy track. Starts out with Tim Lamps's screams. The drum work and guitar work on this track are amazing as well. And then we get to Force to Die, the song I just talked about a few seconds ago. The intro to it is featured at the end of the Beneath the Encased in of Ashes re-recording that is featured on the Decus album. So it starts out very slow, mellow, um, and then the drums kick in, the guitar work as well, including Tim Lambus's screams. The next song, In a Breath in the Eyes of Eternity, starts out with the screaming and the song is my personal favorite track off of Beneath the Encasing of Ashes, so it's not a bad track. The song after that Blood Turned to Tears. The guitar riff is super catchy. And Tim does a lot of low growls on the song. Including his screaming. Which is nice. And the drum work on this track is fantastic as well. The Voices That Betray Me is after... the fifth track on Beneath the Encasing of Ashes. I love the guitar riffs. And like I said, all of these songs on this album, Beneath the Encasing of Ashes, this whole album is featured on the 2006 release. Along March, the first recordings, which is just a compilation, so... If you cannot find the debut album, then you can pick up a copy of A Long March, The First Recordings, which has a few tracks off of the second album, Frail Words Collapse, which we will discuss after this album review. When This World Fades is the seventh song on Beneath In Case of Ashes. It's very slow. It's very mellow the beginning the bass work is very audible in the mix and I love the clean guitar melodies that are at the beginning of the song there's whispering as well 
once the song has started. So it's a good track. The song Lung March is after track seven of Beneath the Encasing of Ashes. It's one of my personal favorite songs off this album as well. It's very harsh. The drum work on the song is amazing as well, including the guitars. Surrounded starts out with this awesome little electric drum kit sound. Reminds me of a 90s hip hop beat. And you can hear the guitars in the background, as well as Tim Lamas' screams. At first, when I heard the song, I thought there was going to be freestyling and rapping over it, but I was wrong. At least you get Tim Lamas' screams on the song. And it leads right into Refined by Your Embrace. The song is super heavy as well and brutal. There's a lot of screaming on the song. And I love the guitar riffs on the song as well. And then we get to the Innocent Spilled. This is a good song as well. I love the little guitar riffs on the song as well, including the drum work and the vocals, of course. It's not a bad track at all. And we get to the last song, Behind Me Falls Another Lying Soldier. This song is also on Frail Words Collapse. Sometimes I have a hard time picking which version is better if the Beneath the Encase and of Ashes version is better than the Frail Words Collapse version, but I like both versions. It's very slow. There's spoken word at the beginning of the song as well. But yeah, that does it for the debut album by Asla Dine, Beneath the Encase and of Ashes, which in my case I'm reviewing it from the Long March, the first recordings, but I'm not saying the tracks for this album, the track numbers, because I don't want to confuse anybody. I'm just going tracks 1 to 12. So I don't confuse anybody by saying track 6 and track 7. I don't want to confuse anybody. So I'm just reviewing each song off the album. However, I'm just saying you know, things like track 1, track 2, and so on. So not to confuse anybody. But if I were to give this album a rating, sorry I'm talking too fast. This album gets a nine out of ten. Have no issues with it. I did not know that Asley Dine put this album on the compilation, and I researched why they put it on the compilation. It it's because this album was worth ninety bucks on eBay, so that's why I did decided to put it on the Long March, the first recordings compilation. That was released in 2006, but this album gets a 9 out of 10. Stick around for the album that everybody knows. And I heard one song off of this album that introduced me to Asley Dine. And the song is also on the first MTV Headbangers Ball compilation that was released in 2003. And I'll tell you guys what the song is called. The song is entitled Forever, and it's off of the Frail Words Collapse compilation. No, album. I'm sorry. Sorry, guys. Album. I'm saying something different because um, this song is actually on the Long March, the first recordings. That's what I'm thinking of. There's also a demo version of it, too. So, but disregard that. This song is also on the Frail Words Collapse album. So, we're going to review. Frail Words Collapse next, so stick around for that review. 9 out of 10 rating for 
beneath the encasing of ashes. Like I said, since this album is not on Spotify, it is on Spotify, but it is on the compilation. I'm going to link you guys to Spotify where you can listen to the Long March, the first recordings. And if you don't want to listen to tracks one to five, just skip those and go to track six in order to start the album. So, But nine out of ten for Beneath the Encasing of Ashes. I'm still going to title it that album so I don't confuse anybody by saying something like, Long March, the first recordings review, because that would be confusing people. I'm just going to give it the original title of the debut album that was released in 2001. So I'm going to post a link to Spotify so you guys can stream Long March, the first recordings, and just skip to track six to listen to the first album. So thank you for tuning into this album review. Like, share, comment, subscribe, turn on notifications so you get notified every time I upload a video, and stick around for my review of. Frail Words Collapse. Next. Take care.